Hello everyone. Welcome to our Easter bunny paint class today. I hope you're excited. It's really, really easy. It's for all ages. You do need a pencil and a really good eraser to start. So no matter if you're using a canvas or a piece of paper, you do want to start with a pencil. So again, you're going to grab your canvas or your piece of paper. You can do this with paint. You can do this with markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have. Okay. So are you ready to see how cute it is? Don't do anything yet though. So I kind of started to draw it out a little bit. So we're going to do like just his head, like peeking up. And then we're going to do some, um, some daff, not daffodils, dandelions, but when they're white and you can, you know, the ones you blow on, it's really pretty. Hi everyone. So cute. So again, get your pencil ready. And if you've done classes with me before, you know that I trace each individual step using a black marker. So I'm the only one that's using marker right now. You're only using pencils and try to only copy what I've traced in marker. If I haven't done it in marker yet, please wait patiently, okay? If not, you're gonna end up doing lots and lots of erasing. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we wanna keep our bunny rabbit's head off to one side, okay? So we don't wanna do it in the middle because we're gonna do two big dandelions on this side. So we wanna keep our bunny rabbit off to one side of the canvas and you wanna hold it the long way, okay? So this is the tall way, we do not want it this way. We wanna put our canvas or paper the long way like this, sideways, okay? And we're gonna keep our bunny off to this side. Pick one side, but off to the side, we do not wanna put him in the middle. So we're gonna start by making a really big circle shape. So I'm gonna do that first so you can see, don't do anything yet. And you wanna make this pretty big, but don't make the circle go any higher than the middle. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, perfect. So you see, it kind of looks like a circle. I didn't do a full circle on the bottom. You probably see better if I do that. And again, if you look closely, I didn't go any higher than the middle of my canvas. Because if we go too high with this circle shape for the face, we won't have enough room to give him long ears, okay? So again, we want to keep the circle or the face off to one side and don't make it any higher than the middle so we can have plenty of room for the long ears. So I want you guys to work on that. So that's what we're doing. We're making a big circle shape. And again, it doesn't have to be a complete circle. You see how I didn't do the bottom part? And that's going to be for the face. Again, don't go too much higher than the middle so we can have plenty of room to give him some long ears. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the little paws. I know it's hard to see, but we're going to make two big curves and they're going to kind of go into our head a little bit. Let me trace this and turn it around so you can see better, okay? Perfect. All right, so after you do the head, you're going to make two big curves. Kind of looks like the top of a rainbow. That's what it reminds me of. So some of that curve is going to be on the outside of the head, and some of it's going to be on the inside of the head. Can you see that? So make a big curve for the paws. Some of it's on the inside of the head. Some of it's on the outside. Now, unfortunately, because I did this in marker, I cannot erase it now. But for you guys, whatever part of the head, the circle right here, this and this that's inside of his paws, I want you to go back with your eraser and erase this the best you can, okay? So whatever part of the lines from the head that are inside the paws, go back and erase them. In this case, you can't erase them because they're in marker, but you're going to do that, okay? And when you're done doing that, we're going to make three lines. Again, try to pretend that my line is not there for the, the head. We're going to pretend it's not there. Okay. So inside each paw, after you erase this line, you're going to make three little lines for little paws or claws, I should say. So make three little lines. I'm like playing peekaboo underneath the canvas. That's what I feel like anyway. Okay, good. Now we're going to start working on the face. So we want to put our finger 
in the middle of our bunny's head. So find the middle, put your finger right where the middle is, and that's where we're gonna start the nose. So for the nose, we're gonna start by making the letter V. So around the middle of the head, or the face, same thing, you wanna make a letter V for the bottom of the nose. See how I trace that in marker? So make the letter V for the bottom of the nose. And you can make the nose a pretty good size. because He's got a big head, so we got lots of room in there. Give him a nice big nose. We're gonna start off by making a letter V for the bottom of the nose. And then we're gonna connect the top of the nose with a curvy line. So let me trace that for you. So we're gonna go back. And we're gonna connect the top of that V shape with a curvy line for the top of the nose. Okay. Pretty easy so far, right? Yeah, I think so. So after you're done doing the nose, we're going to move on to the eyes. For the eyes, we're going to make two ovals. If you don't know what an oval is, think of the shape of an egg. So something like that. So make two big oval shapes. You can actually make yours a little bit bigger than mine, so it'll be easier for you. So make two oval shapes for the eyes, just like that. Okay, good. And then we're gonna do some lines inside of the eyes. If you look at my eyes, or it's kind of hard to see because my eyes are so dark, but it, um, everyone's eyes have three colors. There's white on the outside, see the white? And then there's color, and then there's a little black dot. So there's three colors to everyone's eyes. So we're gonna do that for the bunny rabbit too, okay? So the first line that we're gonna do, again, I'm gonna trace it so you can see it better. So you're going to make a curvy line around the top of the eye. So you're going to do that right there and right there. So not in the middle, a little bit higher than the middle. Keep it kind of around the top of that oval. Okay? And then we're going to make a little curve at the bottom. Okay, so it's almost like you're making a circle. So at the bottom of the eye, you're going to make a little curve, or you could kind of make a circle if you wanted to, but make sure it's like touching the bottom of the eyes. Okay, and then after you do that circle, you're going to color it in with your pencil. Just shade it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to end up doing that in marker anyway. So shade in a little circle or curve at the bottom of the bunny's eyes. Okay. So at any point, if I'm going too fast for you and you can't keep up, um, what I recommend is waiting till I'm done with a video. Um, and then you can go back and watch it anytime you want. Um, I'm just trying to keep them all around an hour. I don't want to go too long, so I kind of have to move along, unfortunately. Okay, so back to our bunny rabbit. So let's do the mouth. So if you look at the mouth, it kind of looks like a J and a backwards J that are touching together like that, okay? So let me trace that so you can see it better. So see, it looks like a J and a backwards J. Hi, so cute. Starting to look like a bunny now. Now, in the original picture, the bunny rabbit did not have teeth. So I am gonna draw teeth so you can see what it looks like, okay? Don't draw them yet though. So this is what the original picture looks like. You might wanna leave it just like this, but I'm gonna draw teeth just so you can see what it looks like if you wanted to add teeth, okay? So just think about it before you do it. So if you do want to add teeth to your bunny, after you make the mouth, you're going to start by putting a straight line down the middle. So 
Don't do this yet, just watch and listen and then you can decide if you wanna add teeth or not. So straight line down the middle. Okay, oh, I love that. I think the teeth are adorable. So I start again by making a straight line down the middle and then I kind of made like a rectangle shape going this way and then another rectangle shape going the other way. And now he's got cute little teeth. I love it. So you have two choices. You could do it without the teeth or you could do it with the teeth. So you decide. I kind of like the teeth. All right. Now let's see. We're not going to give our bunny his whiskers yet because we're just going to end up painting over them. So there's really no point in doing his whiskers until the end. So we're just going to skip the whiskers. If you already drew them, that's fine. But I'm not going to have you draw them yet, okay? All right. So we're skipping the whiskers for now, okay? We're going to move on to his ears. And bunnies have really long ears. So you have all of the space above his head. You can make his ears as long as you'd like. So I'm going to trace one of the ears so you can see the shape. And if you're going to notice that my ears are not identical, they're not exactly the same, so yours don't have to be either, okay? So nice long ears. Use whatever space you have. See the black line? Do something that looks like that and just make them really long. And then this one kind of looks like it's going off to the side a little bit. You can make them both like this or you can make one off to the side like, like I did. So I'm going to go trace the other one and then I'll hold it up so you can see again. So don't rush. I'm just going to trace them both. All right, there. So you can copy that. You can make them different like I did, or you can make two ears that look the same like this one, or two that look the same like this one. Lots of choices. And either way is correct. So give your bunny some really long ears. And then when you're done, we're going to do another shape on the inside of the ears, okay? So let me trace that and I'll be right back. Okay. So then you're going to do the inside. Back up just a little bit. Perfect. Oh, you made the ear bent? I can't wait to see this. Don't forget to post these on my page in the um, event. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you can message them to me. I would love to see these when you're done. There's so many different ways to send me pictures. Okay. So I think we're done with the bunny rabbit for now. He was actually really easy. Um, again, if you already added the whiskers, that's fine. I'm just not going to do my whiskers now because we're going to end up painting over them anyway. So I was just going to wait till the end to add those. All right, so our bunny is done. Now we're going to move over to our dandelion. So we're just going to do the stems. So let me trace the stems. Again, you're doing this in pencil. Okay. So you're going to make a long line and a shorter line. And again, if you notice, my lines are not straight. They're a little bit bent. Because if you think about it, when you look at a flower, very rarely is a flower standing straight up. It's usually like tilted a little bit to one of the sides. So when you're doing your stems, kind of make them a little tilted. And you don't want them to be the same exact height. So make one of your stems longer than the other. Okay. And then we're going to add some leaves. These leaves look a little bit different. They're kind of like really like thin and long. So they're a little bit of a different shape than the leaves that we're used to drawing. So just take a quick look at these. The shape of these leaves actually reminds me of the bunny's ears a little bit. 
So you see the shape of the, the leaves, just like they long and thin, kind of like the bunny's ears. Perfect. So cute. All right. So we're not going to draw out our dandelions. We don't need to do that. We can just do it with paint later or crayon or whatever you're using, okay? So what I need you to do is if you have a black permanent marker, I need you to get a marker and I need you... Oh, you added an Easter egg. That's cute too. You can add an Easter egg on the bottom if you have room. Yeah, you can. If you have room, you can add an Easter egg somewhere down here. That's a great idea. I like that. Um, so when you're done drawing, I want you to grab a black marker and I want you to trace your Easter bunny's um, face, paws, and ears. Um, I guess you could trace your, your stem and your leaf too. You could do that too. So just pretty much copy mine. Just grab a black marker and just trace everything in marker so it looks like mine, okay? So I'm going to put this down because I'm not drawing anything new. You're just taking your marker and tracing over what you already drew in pencil. So I'm going to put this down really quick and I'm going to go over some things with the, with the adults if they're there, okay? So you guys trace while I talk. So if you're using acrylic paint like I am, you're going to need the following things. You're going to need a paper plate for your paint. You're going to need a bin or a cup of water, preferably something you're not going to eat or drink from again. You don't want to reuse that. Um, you're going to need two brushes, if possible, um, a small brush. And then if you have a bigger brush, it doesn't have to be this big, but um, it's going to take you a very long time to paint the sky if all you have is a very small brush. So hopefully you have one that's a little bit bigger, okay? So that... And then you're going to need uh, a very minimal amount of colors for this painting. You're only going to need some white. You're going to need some pink, some green, and some blue. Those are pretty much the only colors that you need for this painting. So again, if you're doing this in crayon or something besides paint, um, white, pink, green, and blue, that's pretty much all we're going to need. Very simple. If you added an Easter egg like someone else did, um, then you can use whatever other colors you want if you're adding an Easter egg, okay? But I'm just doing it like this for now. All right, so when you're done with your marker, just wait very patiently, okay? We're going to wait for some more of our friends. Some people take a little bit longer to trace, which is fine. They want to be nice and neat. Um, I cannot wait for everyone to finish. So once again, if I'm moving too quickly for you, you might want to just wait till I'm done and go back and watch this later, okay? So I'll just wait a little bit longer for you guys to finish tracing. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to paint our bunny white, okay? So um, when you're done, grab some white paint and put some white paint on your plate. You're probably wondering why we're doing that since our canvas or the paper is probably white, but we want to make um, everything look the same, okay? So we're just going to, it'll look cleaner and neater and shiny just like the rest of the other paint too. Because if we don't put white on the bunny, it's going to look very dull compared to the rest of the painting. So we're going to paint him white even though it's already white. Okay? When you're done with your markers, I want you to take them and put them far away so you cannot reach them. Or give them to one of your adults so they can put them far away. What happens is, um, I'm not going to say kids because the adults actually do it more than the children. Is people try to write on wet paint with their marker. They don't wait until it's completely dry and then you're going to ruin your markers. So take those markers and put them far away when you're done. Okay, so I'm going to take my small brush and I'm going to dry it on my paper towel. If you're using acrylic paint, you have to dry your brush before you put it in the paint. It's not watercolors. If you're using watercolors, that's different. You need water. But if you're using acrylic like I am, you don't want to add water. So you're going to dry your bristles or your brush on your paper towel first. So now that my brush is dry, and it's okay if it's a little wet, as long as there's no water dripping, I'm going to dip my brush into some white paint. I'm going to try to paint upside down so you guys can see. So I'm going to try to bring my camera a little bit closer. I'm just going to move my plate. Hold on. I'm just going to move some things around. 
there, light plate there. Okay, so I've got my white paint, and it's going to be hard to see, but you can kind of watch where I put it. Okay, so the inside of his ears is not going to be white, that's going to be pink. So we are not painting the inside of the ears, we're just going to paint around that section okay and once i do the ear i'll put it really close and you'll see how um the paint is shiny so you can see where i put the paint so let me finish this ear and the nice thing it's white so you don't you can move a little quicker with it you don't have to be super neat with it because if you make a mistake any other color will cover the white all right so let me put you closer you can kind of see where i put the white paint now and I did not paint in the middle of the ear. So we're not painting the middle, okay? So I'm gonna do that to both ears. Okay, perfect. If you notice, I did both ears and I did not paint the middle of the ears. So when you're done doing the ears, we're going to start painting the face, but we're going to go really careful around the eyes and the nose. But you are going to paint over the mouth and then we can fix that later, okay? So for now, just trace around the eyes, go nice and slow around the eyes. Again, if you get some white paint on your eyes, we can fix it later. Just try to be careful anyway. So you're going to paint your bunny's face white, go around the eyes and go around the nose. You are, however, I know this is going to seem weird, but we are going to trace around this stuff later when it's done. You are, however, going to paint over the mouth. And if you did teeth, you're going to paint the teeth as well. Okay, so I'll do that now so you can see. So I literally just put paint right over the mouth and the teeth. But I am going to go around the nose because the nose is not going to be white. So I'm going around the nose and around the eyes, over the mouth and the teeth, and then I'm painting the rest of the face all white. And I'll hold this up closer when I'm done. And you don't want any big globs of paint, so make sure you go back and you spread out all your paint before you add more onto your brush. And then you're going to paint his paws. Remember that we made those three little lines? You're going to paint right over those as well. I'm going to paint right over them, okay? So I painted the whole face, but I didn't paint over the eyes or the nose. I did paint over the mouth and the tooth. And now I'm painting over both paws. See, that's without the paint. And this is with the paint, okay? We're going to fix this later. Don't get nervous. You can still see it through the paint, and we'll fix it later. Okay, perfect. So now that we've painted our bunny all white like that, we're going to rinse our brushes and dry them if you're using paint. Okay, so rinse and dry. The next thing we're going to do, and this is the part that's going to take the longest, is we're going to paint our sky. Our sky is blue. Um, usually you want to use a light blue. So I'm going to be using this shade right here. Um, it just says pale blue. So you want to try to get a color like this. So I already know if you're painting the bunny white with me that you have white paint. Okay. So if you have white paint and your blue is darker than this, just add some white paint to make your blue a little bit lighter. That's all. Okay. Try not to use the dark blue. If, you have, if that's all you have, then that's all you have. But if you have white paint, add some white paint to your darker blue to make it lighter or something close to this color, okay? So I'm going to put this in my plate. Okay. And I'm going to start by tracing around the leaves on my dandelion. So I'm going to take some blue, whatever blue you're using, and I'm going to start tracing around the leaves. 
So just tracing around the leaves. Let me just turn it this way over here now. So around the leaves. Don't worry about the stem. You are going to paint over the stem, but we don't want to paint our leaves blue. Okay. So for now, just trace around the leaves on your stems. Just like that. With whatever blue that you're using. You're using a small brush right now. Okay. So just to go around the leaves. Now, before we do the rest of the sky, we're going to trace around the bunny, okay? So using the same blue, we're going to start tracing around the outside of our bunny. So we're tracing around the outside of the bunny. I know he's still wet, but it doesn't matter because we painted him white. So we're going to start tracing around the outside of our bunny. Just like that. Around the sides of his face around both of his ears okay just tracing on the outside of the bunny rabbit top of his head now the other ear okay Again, I'm doing this upside down, so forgive me if it's not the neatest. Doing my best. So I'm just tracing. And this is why I didn't want you to do the whiskers yet, because we're going to paint over the whiskers. And those are pretty easy to add later on. Okay, so I traced around the outside of my entire bunny, and I traced around the leaves on my uh, dandelions, okay? So... What we're gonna do now is hopefully you have a bigger brush. If you do not have a bigger brush, you can still do this. It's just gonna take you a very long time, okay? So I'm gonna put my little brush in the water and I'm gonna grab my bigger brush. I'm gonna make sure it's clean and you wanna make sure that your um, big brush is very dry. So if you had your big brush in the water like I did, make sure that you dry it completely. There's no water dripping from the big brush because it will water down your painting and we don't want that. So my big brush is nice and clean and dry. I'm going to continue with that shade of blue. And I'm going to come back to where the dandelions are. And I'm going to paint right over my stems. Just, I'm going to be very careful not to paint my leaves though, okay? So I'm going to start painting with this bigger brush, whatever size you have. If you don't have another brush, keep doing this with a small brush. I'm painting right over my stems. And all of this is going to be sky. I'm going to start painting the entire top of my painting. You're going to need a lot of paint, but you also want to make sure you're spreading out the paint. No globs of paint, because there's two things. You'll waste the paint if you're doing that, and you don't want to waste paint. And then the other thing is it won't dry. If you don't spread out your globs, your um, background won't be dry for us to do the flowers. You'll have to wait a long time. So spread out your paint before you add more to your brush so i'm just starting to paint my whole background with this blue paint again i know i am moving quickly i just kind of have to because of the time of the video but again if you can't keep up with me you can always just wait till i'm done and go back and watch the saved one because i don't want anyone to rush okay I'm almost done. I did the part where the dandelions are. I ran out of paint, so I'm going to grab some more, put it on my plate. Now I'm going to start doing the sky around the bunny rabbit. And I'm going to be very careful around my bunny rabbit because we want to make sure he stays white. Okay, And this is why we traced him first so we don't accidentally paint him. So I'm going really slow once I get close to my bunny. Still using my big brush. But I'm going really slow. Still spreading out the paint. Okay. I'm going to paint up here in between his ears. So 
this whole section. And then I'm going to paint this side blue. Again, I'm going to go really slow with my big brush when I get close to him. It's a lot faster if you have a bigger brush. So if you plan on doing more paintings with me, you might want to um, get a bigger brush, a little brush. I only use two sizes. That's it. These are the only two brushes I ever use. So you don't need to go get a whole bunch. If you order them, you might end up getting like they come together like four or five, maybe even six at a time. Um, but I use this brush and that small flat one. That's the only two I ever use for everything. Okay. So you're going to do the whole background light blue like this. Back up just a little bit now so you guys can see. Okay. So I didn't paint over my leaves. I went around them and I went really careful around my bunny. So when you're done, you're going to put your brush, whatever size you use, into your water so it doesn't dry out. Okay. And what I want you to do is if you're hungry, go grab a snack. If you're thirsty, go grab a drink. Okay. We're going to take a five minute break once our background is dry. If you're not done with your background, keep painting. Okay. So I am going to put my painting down. Again, all you're doing is the blue. I already have a drink, so I guess I'm going to go get a quick snack while we're waiting for everyone to catch up, okay? Because I don't want anyone rushing. I'm going to give you guys some time. Okay, I'm going to put my snack down. I'll finish it later. Hopefully, that gave everyone enough time for their background to dry a little bit. Let me take a quick sip of my water. All right, we're going to get back to our painting now. So I need you to get some pink paint. You don't need a lot, just a little bit for the inside of the ears and your bunny's nose. So get a little bit of pink, whatever shade you want, onto your plate. And we're going to go back to our small brush. So make sure that your small brush is clean and dry. So back to our painting, guys. Clean and dry your small brush and a little bit of pink. We're going to start with the ears first because if we start by painting his nose, we might accidentally smudge it when we go to paint the ears because the ears are on top. So when I paint, I try to paint from the top down so we don't smudge things, okay? So we're going to start with the inside of the ears with some pink paint. So we're just painting the inside of his ears pink. So cute. I love it. Okay. Pink ears, just the inside, not the whole ear, remember. And then when you're done doing that, you're going to do his nose. Perfect. So our bunny has inside of his ears are pink and his nose is pink. Now, the next color we're going to use is going to be green. So you're going to get some green paint. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I want to do the top of the dandelion first. That's white because then it might smudge with our green. So why don't we go back to white really quick? So after you finish the inside of the ears and the nose, clean that brush really good, and we're going to go back to some white paint. You might have some left over from your bunny. If you don't have any white paint left over, just put a tiny bit more on your plate. You don't want a lot. Okay. So what we're going to do, okay, so we're going to get our small brush again. We're going to dip it into some white paint, and then we're going to make a dot 
where we want the center. If you notice, my dot is above my stem. So the little white dot I made is not on the top of my stem. I left a little space and I put that there. That's going to be the center. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Okay? So you can see the little white dots that I made are a little bit above my stem. Okay? Now I'm going to start making some lines that go out. Okay? So I'm going to start at that circle. So my circle was here. And I'm going to keep making a bunch of lines all the way around. And make them nice and big and long. And make sure they're touching. Okay? Then you're going to do the same thing on your other dot. So you start in the middle and you make a long line. You're going to make another, so keep making long lines like that, and then kind of make them all touch. Fill in the spaces so there's no space in between them. Just like that. Okay? We're, we're keeping this really simple. Just keep going all the way around like that. And then we're going to make some, um, look like they're floating in the sky. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to make, again, we're going to make some random ones floating around. So we're going to make a line like that. And then we're going to make a little circle at the end. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but get a little bit longer, okay? And then kind of make them go in different directions. Kind of looks like something else, but there we go. Mm -hmm. So kind of put them all over the place so it looks like they're blowing around. There we go. So it's going to look like the dandelions when you blow them, they're kind of blowing around in the sky. Perfect. Very cool. Now we're done with that. We're going to go to our green now. So clean and dry. Clean and dry our small brushes. We're done with our big brush. We don't need the big one anymore. So we're just using our small brush now. So remember in the beginning when we were drawing our bunny's eyes, I went over how everyone has three different colors in their eyes. They have white and then they have the colored part and then the little black dot, okay? So we kind of determined that the black dot is going to be on the bottom because I had you kind of shaded in and then you probably colored it in with your marker like I did. So this middle part above the black part is going to be green and then the part on the top needs to stay white, okay? So I'm going to grab some green paint and I'm going to paint just, let me see, is there any left? I got to grab some more green. Ugh. Green paint, small, clean, dry brush. Just put a tiny bit on your brush, you see? Just, just a little bit, okay? And very carefully add some green just to the middle of the eye. If you accidentally get some on the bottom part, that's okay. We can fix it when the paint is dry. Just try not to get the green on the top because we want to keep this white, okay? So we're going to do green paint in the middle of the bunny's eyes only. And again, if you cover the little bit of the black, like I probably just did, we're going to let it dry and then we're going to fix it later, okay? We just don't want to get any green on this top part of the eye. So you see how I got a little bit of green over my black? Once that's dry, oh, you can't hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me okay? So once you get the green done, if you get a little bit of green on the black by accident, just let that completely dry and you can fix it later with your marker when it's dry, okay? Just don't get any white, I mean uh, green paint on this white part. Leave the top of the eye white. 
Okay. So that's what the eyes should look like. Now we're gonna move on to the stems and the leaves. Those are also gonna be green. So we're gonna take our green paint and we're gonna trace our stem. So we're tracing our stem. Do both stems. Okay. So I traced both my stems and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to color in my leaves. Okay. Yes, you're adding green to the eyes, but just the middle part of the eyes. If you look closely, the green on the eyes is just in the middle. So there and there, and then you could go back and fix the pupils later when everything is dry. So right now I'm just tracing the stems and coloring in my leaves. Perfect. Okay. So with the green, we painted again just the middle part of the eyes. And we're going to go back and fix those pupils later. And then we trace the stems. And then we also traced, oh, not traced, we colored in the leaves, okay? And then we're going to add some grass. So we're going to add some blades of grass. But before we add the blades of grass, we're going to paint just a little tiny bit of the bottom green, just a very small section. And when I'm done, I'll hold it up. It's kind of hard for me to show you right now. Let me do that, and then I'm going to show you and explain it. Perfect. Okay. So, what I did is I painted just a tiny bit green along the bottom. I didn't go too high with that. So, I did it here, and then I stopped when I got to the bunny. And then I also did a tiny bit on the other side of the paw. If you have that too, you might not have that. But if you have that on both sides, you can do that. And then once you do that, let me see if I can lean this forward a little bit. I'm going to have you add some blades of grass. So blades of grass um, go in all different directions. They don't just go straight up and down. Grass isn't perfectly straight. So what you're going to do is when you're doing the grass, you want some to go straight, some to kind of go off to one side, some to go off to the other. You want them to crisscross or overlap each other. So let me do a few as an example, okay? So let me see if, if I bring this closer, okay? There we go. So you're going to start off by making, maybe you can make one of them straight and they don't have to be that long. Then I'm going to make another one that kind of goes off to the side. You see how that one goes sideways? And then I can make another one go off to the other side. But then I'm going to make another one right here and this one's going to kind of like crisscross. You see how they're touching? So you're going to keep adding blades of grass over this area until it's all full and make them go in all different directions. See how I did that? I'm gonna go right over your stem too. So I'm even gonna make like a blade of grass that kind of goes over the bottom of my stem. See how I kind of crisscross that there? Take another one here. Just make them go in all different directions so it's nice and full. And then if you have room, if you don't have room, don't do this, but if you have a little space here that's empty, you can go back and you can add some grass over here as well. Okay. So I'm going to back this up now so you can see the full picture. Back it up just a little bit. There we go. So I just added some blades of grass along the bottom. And again, you can see how some of them are straight. Some of them go off to either side. Some of them crisscross each other. And then if you do have a little bit of space on the other side of your bunny's paw, you can add some grass over there as well. Okay? Very cute. Yep. 
It's a very simple painting. There's not a lot to it. If you wanted to add more, you can go right ahead. So because my bunny rabbit looks like it's completely dry, I'm going to start giving him back his details, okay? So while you guys are finishing up your grass, um, I'm going to grab my marker and see if he's dry, and I'm going to start tracing things while you're finishing up the grass. If your bunny rabbit is not completely dry, you're going to have to wait and do this part later, okay? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do this in marker. Um, I probably recommend that you don't do it in marker, but... I don't think it's dry and I want to show you what it's going to look like, but I'm going to do it in black paint, but I want you to wait and do it in marker when yours is dry. So let's see. Do I even have black paint? I do somewhere. Grab my black paint because I don't want to wait because I want to show you. So again, you could do this in black or... You can wait till your bunny rabbits all dry and go over it with black marker instead of the paint. So I'm going to start going over the ears. So you're kind of kind of just trace over everything like the marker that got covered. You're going to take either your marker or some black paint and kind of go over it again. Okay? So if you're not confident using paint or your brush is too thick, again, just wait and let everything dry and do this part with black marker instead. Okay, see I kind of made that part a little too thick. You can see what happens. And I'm also painting upside down, okay? Oh, you added yellow to the flower. You could do that too, yep. You can go back and you can customize stuff however you want. I just tried to make it as simple as possible and then you guys can add stuff to your painting. So, and you don't have to trace it in black paint like I'm doing. You can leave it alone or you could just go back and do it with black marker. And once again, I am painting upside down, so this isn't going to be perfectly neat as if it would be if I did it the right way. And you don't want to forget to give your, um, your bunny whiskers. So then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do those, remember those three lines in the paws? Don't forget to add those back in there. Okay. Again, painting upside down is definitely different. I don't think I'm doing that bad, though, for painting upside down, am I? Could be a lot worse. I'm going to have a crooked tooth. Hey, that's not bad at all for upside down. Okay. Ah, he looks so cute. I think for his eyes, though, I'm going to wait and I'm going to do his eyes with marker because his eyes are so small that I don't want to mess up his eyes. So I'm going to do his eyes in marker and then maybe his whiskers in marker, too. So let me put this down really quick and try to do those because they look like they're dry. So I'm just tracing around the eyes, making them look nice and neat, making sure they're dry first. And then I'm going to hold this up when I'm done. And I'm also going to do his whiskers with marker. Because you want the whiskers to be a little bit thinner. You don't want the whiskers to be too thick. Perfect. Oh, he looks so cute. Wait till you see. So I did his eyes using marker instead of um, the paint, okay? But you can do the whole thing in marker. Look how adorable he is. I love him. He is so cute. I love this little bunny. 
too cute. And you know what? I'm going to try something too. I'm going to add some little black dots to my... I don't know if they belong there, but I'm going to see what this looks like. I'm adding like little black dots to them to kind of see. It looks like there's like the seeds. I don't know. Looks okay to me. <laughs> and then somebody said they added a sun. So I don't have any room to add a sun. But if you have room somewhere, a sun is a good idea. I like that. I think that's a great idea. But just make sure you have room for it though. Like if I didn't put these little floaty things here, then I could do like a sun up here in the corner. But they're kind of in my way now, so now I don't have room. But yeah, I think that would be a great idea. So there's our cute little bunny painting. And again, don't forget to send me pictures later, okay? And I hope you guys had a great time.